these plants uh, were heavily infested with aphids. So I sprayed it down with a variety of different things, trying to see what might really work. Because uh, it seems like nothing works for aphids. They always seem to clone themselves and come back quickly. Um, one thing I noticed with the cinnamon was that it did not bother the aphids, um, but it definitely made the plant super rich, deep, dark green. So maybe it's utilizing it as a fertilizer. Um, the aphids seem to be all but completely gone after this last application, uh, which I used non-toxic, all-plant-based um, soap, and I mixed it in with some olive oil, and seems to have truly done the job, which is amazing to me. Even the ants are coming and getting any live ones and removing them from the plant because obviously they find it to be unhospitable at this time. So now this plant's going to recover. The other one here did not get sprayed as much, but it did. Uh, as you can see, there's black uh, black marks. Those are the dead aphids. Um, sadly, their bodies dehydrated from from the olive oil, but uh, wasn't my intention to kill them. Merely just make them go away. It might be the citrus that was in the soap that did it, but from what I understand, it's a, a dehydration process. Um, these are the dead aphids, and this plant, amazingly, used to have this horrible stench about it of dead, dead rotting body um, because of the sulfur that it was emanating, which I'm sure was very attractive to more aphids. Um, and it's all but clear as well of the aphids, which is just amazing because it's just about ready to give up on this plant. Um, this is exciting. Soap, olive oil and water. Be sure that your soap is not toxic and uh, spray away on the upper side and lower side when it's uh, when it's not too sunny, maybe on a, on a cloudy day or late at night or early in the morning and you'll have amazing results. Well, good luck!